So it's not what I'm, my point is like that requires discipline, right? Because right, that right. is no longer you're no longer in the in in the inspiration realm. You're you're not in the obsession realm. You are, I'm sure, as well. But you're also in. There's no fucking way you want to do it. There's no way mm. you want to do more sprints. There's no way you want to do all this stuff. You must do it though. Mm. You must do mm. the calisthenics. You must do the live wrestling drills. You must do the Shark Tank where they throw in a new fresh opponent every round for five rounds. So you're dealing with rested killers and you're exhausted. You have to do that. So the, and that's not that's pure discipline and generally enforced discipline by coaches because it's so rigid. It's so hard to do that. You need someone over you with a stopwatch. Right, right, go, let's right. go. Let's go. Let's go. Right, 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 right. And everybody has to get up and go at it because even the most disciplined their body recognizes they need a break. Right. So that's pure discipline. The, what I had was this obsession that made that hard work easy. Right, because right. I so was... that's a key thing. So that's a key thing. Okay, so so now imagine that underneath that, there's a implicit or unconscious goal. Okay, so there, and I'm saying this for a very specific reason. So the positive emotion that motivates people is always experienced in relationship to a goal. Now, this is a very important thing for everyone to understand because it means that if you don't have a goal, you have no positive emotion. And it also means that the higher your goal, the more positive emotion you experience when you're moving towards it because positive emotion signifies progress towards a goal. So you need a goal. The goal of the well, deepest, religious the deepest religious traditions is the ultimate goal by definition. So the idea is that you need a goal and so you should pick the utmost possible goal that's another good definition of something like the kingdom of heaven or the realm of the divine the ultimate goal now you have a goal and every time you see movement towards it you're going to get um what would you say you're riding on the energy that's associated with movement towards that goal that's dopaminergically mediated that's the same systems that are affected by cocaine and methamphetamine and so forth all the positive emotion drugs so you need a goal that goal, now you can imagine this, that if you're attentive to the action of your own instincts or the divine voice, I don't think those are distinguishable, then a goal is going to emerge that catalyzes a series of transformations. This is what happens to Abraham. So he has a series of adventures after he decides that he's going to go out in the world. And every adventure is marked by the erection of a sacrificial altar and a recommitment of his upward aim. Now, there's two reasons for that. One is that he reminds himself that he's aiming upward and he's on an adventure. And the second is he admits to himself that with every transformation of character, something has to be sacrificed.